The routing information protocol, RIP, uses the Bellman Ford algorithm, which simply counts the number of hops or routers to a destination network and chooses the path that is the fewest number of hops. Any destination that is more than 15 hops away is considered inaccessible. RIP routers exchange information by broadcasting the entire routing table every 30 seconds out all interfaces with RIP enabled. RIP version 2 also sends out updates every 30 seconds, but sends out updates using the multicast address of 224.0.0.9. This can be configured to do unicast as well. In addition, version 2 provides routing authentication, classless routing, and summarization. Configuring RIP is straightforward. There are four steps to configuring a routing protocol. First, enable the routing protocol. Next, activate it on interfaces. Then, advertise directly connected networks. Finally, configure optional parameters. The first step, enabling the routing protocol, is done from the global configuration mode by typing router RIP. The next two steps, activating RIP on interfaces and advertising networks, is done with a single command, the network command. In this example, there are three routers named Larry, Curly, and Mo. For the Mo router, you need to enable RIP and enter the networks you want to advertise. The Mo router has the 192.168.10.0 slash 24 and the 192.168.20.0 slash 24 networks directly connected to it. Larry has three networks attached to his router and Curly has two. When you enter your networks in your RIP configuration, RIP is activated on the interfaces that are assigned those networks. All networks that you listed in your configuration are then sent out all RIP activated interfaces. Thus, the networks that you entered on Curly's router will be sent out to Larry. Larry will take what is learned from Curly, add his own networks, and send them out to Mo. Larry will also learn networks from Mo, add his networks, and send them out to Curly. Remember to enter only your directly connected networks. Curly, for example, should not enter 192.168.10.0 slash 24 in his configuration because that network is not directly connected to his router. Also, you should enter classful networks only. A classful network is a major class A, B, or C network with the default mask of slash 8, slash 16, or slash 24. This means that even if you're subnetting, you should enter the major class A, B, or C address. Our three friends have new networks that are taken from a major class A network. Even though multiple networks are attached to them, enter only the major 10.0.0.0 slash 8 network. Thus, all three routers would have the same configuration. Finally, you may enter some optional commands. The two optional commands that you should be familiar with for the exam are version 2 and no auto summary. Both commands are entered under the RIP routing process. The first command, version 2, enables RIP version 2 on your router. RIP version 2 adds the benefits of optional authentication, multicast updates, summarization, and classless routing. Although RIP version 2 does support classless routing, it still automatically summarizes all networks on the default class A, B, and C boundaries. In our previous example, RIP version 2 still summarizes the networks at the major 10.0.0.0 slash 8 boundary. Slash 8 is the default mask for a class A network. To disable automatic summarization, enter the no auto summary command under the routing process. This is the complete configuration for Larry's router, assuming that you wanted RIP version 2 with no automatic summarization. Note that even though we disabled automatic summarization, we still put the default classical networks in our configuration. RIP is smart enough to go on the interfaces and discover the individual subnetworks and their associated subnet masks.